Hey, how's it going? My name is Timo and today I'm gonna unbox my new phone, which is the OnePlus 8. Okay, I actually just got it in the mail a couple of minutes ago. And here it is. So I bought it straight from OnePlus. This is a bundle deal which they had offered on their website. I'm guessing this is the actual phone. And, and I guess this is what it came with. So I'm just gonna start by unboxing this and putting the phone to the side a minute. First of all, there's a little bit of paperwork, just a packing list. And inside this box is, as I've guessed, the, the accessories that it came with, which for one is the OnePlus 8 sandstone bumper case. I mean, it's nice that it comes with a case and uh, the, the other OnePlus phones, my previous one, the OnePlus 6, it actually came with a clear plastic case, but I prefer this over the plastic case, over the clear plastic case, a lot. I mean, this this does look nice, but I'm most likely not gonna use it because I've ordered a second case from Rhino Shield, which you probably see in my review of the phone. But anyways, it's still a nice case and it's nice to have it nonetheless. And also it comes with the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. I'm actually guessing that they shipped this deal because for one, I mean, they want to maybe get rid of the cases. Maybe they don't sell that well, but the cases are still, they're nice to have. But I'm guessing with the newly released OnePlus Buds, those bullets, wireless Z headphones, don't sell that well anymore. So they just want to get rid of those, I think. But anyways, I mean, it's probably still a nice pair of headphones. And I'm definitely going to use it, I'm definitely going to try it out. And I'm also going to compare them to my other headphones that I have, which are the Tautronics Sound Liberty 53 or 56, I believe. So yeah, this should be a fun comparison. Okay, so this is a very tall box. Actually, let me just get my box of the OnePlus 6. So yeah. As you can see, um, the box of the OnePlus 6 right here is significantly smaller and actually surprisingly a little bit wider than the box of the OnePlus 8. It just looks tiny in comparison. Let's just open that up real quick. There it is. Okay. I'm actually going to put it aside for a minute as well and see what else is inside the box. So, oh, okay, there it is. Um, there's this clear bumper case that I was talking about earlier. So this case is actually not the worst one I've ever seen, but you just know that cases that ship with the phones out of the box are not the greatest, probably not the most durable. But it certainly looks cool and lets, lets you appreciate the color of the phone a little bit more. Also in the box is OnePlus's typical red USB-C to USB-A cable. Um, would have been nice to see USB-C to USB-C actually, but you know, USB-A is fine as well. And of course there's also the adapter. Let's come to the start of the show, which is going to be the phone itself. And I gotta say, just from holding it for a couple of seconds, it is a bit heavier than my OnePlus 6, but let's just unwrap the phone and, you know, turn it on. So, I actually went for the, um, sort of blue, bluish teal color. It, it just really depends on the light shining on it. Like now it just looks blue and now it's teal. And now it's lo looks kind of greenish. 
I mean, I do like the color a lot. I was considering getting the Interstellar Glow color, mainly because in the past I've only used black or white phones. So I just wanted to, you know, spice things up a bit, just get a colored phone for once. And I like that it doesn't um, attract fingerprints too much. I mean, I believe you, you will be able to tell that there are fingerprints over it at some point, but this sort of matte satin finish is is really awesome. I'm really loving it. But yeah, I'm just gonna set this up real quick. So I just boot it into Android and I, I immediately you can tell the difference between this phone and my older OnePlus 6, mainly because of the screen's refresh rate of 90 hertz. Okay. Now I'm gonna use it for a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks. And when I feel ready, when I feel I've experienced the phone enough, then I'm going to present you my review of the phone, which should be a fun video. If you want to, be sure to check that video out when it comes out. But yeah, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Again, tell me if you liked the video or not by giving it a like or through a comment. And tell me what I can do better, because I'm still learning. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye. Peace.